Let's see if there's anything here. There we go. Oh, wow. Oh, whoa, whoa. Look at that. Actually, very lucky that... I oh, hello. Very lucky that it... And an engine. How awesome is that, man? We're back with some more seven days to die, Alpha 18. We've done a little bit of work since the Horde night. I've finally put protection onto my boxes. That was a very good idea, by the way. Thank you very much. And we today have to focus on making a lot of concrete mix because we repaired our stairs and everything, but we need to make sure that we upgrade all the cobble to concrete, all the concrete to reinforce concrete, so that the next Horde night, when it comes along, if we have any demolition guys, we're not gonna completely get destroyed. I know they do a lot of damage and they actually do destroy a reinforced concrete block, I think nearly completely. I think they either do 5,000 damage or 7,000 damage or something, so steel is required, but if we put a double plating on the side of the stairs, at least the stairs will hold, I hope. Unless they explode on top of the stairs. Anyway, they shouldn't explode anywhere except outside because that's where we're going to attack everybody. And when we see the demolition guys, we could always try to go for the headshots and kill them. But anyway, we get there when we get there. So these hatches here also should prevent the guys from finally jumping in. So what they did up to this point, they came across here and every now and then they would uh, hit this corner here and then be able to kind of jump up it and get in. So they did that also in the uh, Darkness Falls episode as well during the Horde Night and even worse some of the zombies in Darkness Falls walk right across so having this means they do get held long enough by trying to hit this to actually slide down hopefully that's the idea we had poles here but I do prefer the idea of hatches because hatches should be ignored in the pathing AI meaning they think hey this is a free path and then they just try to hit it now we have zero stone for concrete and for reinforced co oh, for reinforced concrete for concrete mix so we're gonna have to go into our mine and spend a little time down here and get some stone together. And it was having four furnaces. I think we should uh, get another two forges. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six. And put stone into everything. If we put like 5,000 stone into each of the slots, uh, that means we should be getting a lot of concrete mix. And then we're going to go and search for engines and hopefully find my engines so we can make more cement mixers. And then we should get the show on the road. We should get into a proper production cycle of concrete mix. What's with all the commotion, guys? Oh, okay, hello. Oh, this is gonna be great fun. I always like looking for treasure when the surface is about as even as balls, okay? So this is just absolutely amazing. <laughs> it could be anywhere in here, in there, underneath here. I don't know. I have no idea. Let's see where the juicy center is. It's probably right here on the edge of things. I wouldn't be surprised. Well, apparently it's somewhere around here. And here we go. After how many snows? Seven and a half thousand snows, over 30,000 clay. Now we do have increased um, resources, but still, that is a lot. Now we got, oh wow, 13,500. That is insane. And we got a junk turret, which we're gonna scrap. And we got some armor and a reinforced cloak we're gonna scrap as well. That is amazing. Oh, we got a jacket? That sells for 70, we could sell that. Okay, off we go. So the, what is the next thing we have to do? The next thing is now, the fetch quest, and we're gonna do the stack party along the way so as, long, as soon as we find it. So let's do that. And that is 1.7 kilometers away that way, I believe. Oh, wow. It's actually all the way outside town. That's gonna be a long drive. While we're on the way, we might as well take some cars apart for more engines. I know we get engines more likely in any passing gas. Actually, that's one of the things we're gonna have to check. So the passing gases have these uh, crates which most likely have engines in it. But it would be good to obviously not ignore the cars on the side of the road. You know, who knows? Maybe we get lucky. Even we have so many batteries. If we get batteries, that would even be better. So we could sell some and we actually make some money, which would be really, really good. Okay, I thought I was recording and I wasn't. <laughs> We didn't find a lot. Um, I went into this building here because it looked like a hardware building, but it had nothing interesting in it. Like I was hoping for an engine or something. All we found in the big treasure box was these things here. Another double barrel shotgun that I repaired and we found another couple of repair kits, which is really awesome. And that's pretty much it. We also found this polymer string mod schematic, which we already knew, so we can sell that as well. Here we are. Let's start the house. We have a duffel bag ready to go. Okay, we don't really need the glass jars at all because we can make like tons of them if we need to. So let's start the house. There we go. That's it. I could have looted it beforehand, absolutely, but there was no way I was going to do that. <laughs> so what we're interested in is find the river supply. So 
We're gonna get the big boxes. Let's see if there's anything here. There we go. Oh, wow. Oh, whoa, whoa. Look at that. Actually, very lucky that... I oh, hello. Very lucky that... It and an engine. How awesome is that, man? That is so cool. And a treasure map. But we're going to read this when we're home because they usually go and activate a treasure in the area you're kind of in. And I don't really want that to be here in the ass of the planet. Oh, look at that. Nice bookshelf. Lovely. Here we have a big guy. Nice. I think two hits. There we go. Nice. And maybe a third one. Excellent. There you go. That's it. Beautiful. Anything in here? No? It must be in here. We are very close to it. It must be somewhere here. But what do we have in these things? Okay, just BDU bottoms. Oh, there it is. It's right in front of me. I can see it here. Uh, yeah, we're going to slap that as well. There we go. Very good. I like it. Now, we're going to have to pick that up, but we have no more room. So, this one is something I have to read. Take aim. 9mm weapons have 20% more range when using a scope or inside. Ooh, I like it. So, let's read that. That is really, really nice. Beautiful. Okay, so let's pick that up. There we go. Excellent. And that's it. We can see if there's anything that we can pick up that stacks. Absolutely. Or maybe even any more books. There's a duffel bag. That's very good. Oh, what is this? A scrap cloth. No, we don't need this. That's fine. Okay, let's go up here. Oh, look at all these resources. That is amazing. We should probably take... Um, oh, hello. Excellent. Anything in here? Oh, yeah. Might as well. Oh, hello. Nice. Beautiful. So let's have a quick look and see what's in the box and then see if we can get rid of anything in here. I mean, the springs I would like to keep. We can get rid of that and we can probably get rid of... Now, I want to keep the cloth fragment if possible. Yeah, the iron pipes, you can probably scrap them. I want to keep the eggs. I can get rid of the animal fat. We'll get more of that. And we definitely want to keep that for bacon and eggs. So, brilliant. Okay, so let's see what we have in here. Oh, medicine. Yes, medicine is always good. Oh, there's a bandage. Very good. We need some drink if we can. Okay, that's a steel sledgehammer. And that is some electric wire relays. We can craft them again. That's absolutely no problem. But I'm going to scrap them in the moment. And what do we have here? Ammunition. Very good. And is that it? Okay, we have no more room here. So let's see what we get here. More ammunition. And military rest. We can scrap that. A double storage pocket. Nice. Yes, excellent. We can put it in the boots. Beautiful, because I already have it in most of my armor pieces. There you go. So this case, we're not as overburdened, which is really, really cool. Nice. Oh, whoops. There we go. Excellent. Before we um, take our rewards surprise, for anything, surprise. we're going to cancel it. And we're going to um, sell down. whatever we can sell. So we're going here to sell go. these books here. We're going to sell the ammo. We're going to sell the pistol, the sledgehammer, the... Oh, he doesn't want them. Oh, wow. Okay, so we have to wait for him to refresh on day 25. And then he probably will buy him, buy them. So we're going to uh, sell all of these. Another sledgehammer. No, we have to keep that. Okay, that's fair enough. We have 19,000 now. There was probably more. Yeah, all that money we're going to have to sell, of course. And the gold nugget. And we have the silver nugget as well. I'm going to keep the diamonds. I have them at home because I know you can make diamond studded knives and stuff like that. I think that's pretty much it. I don't think we're going to sell any more than that. No, I don't think so. What is an engine worth? 200. Okay, is there more engines here? I mean, and if so, how, many, how much will does an engine... If I could spell, that would be really, really great. So let's actually see if... Oh, look at that. For 4,700, we get some concrete mix. That would be so handy. I mean, it's 250 each. And what do you get for one? It's 250 for 50. I think we should do that to be honest like but let's see what else is actually there in the moment oh gunpowder absolutely we should take that and do we have any casings powder what else do we have and do we have any bullets okay and what about our special stash Ooh, Night Stalker, what is that? The early bird gets the worm, but the night owl sees everything. Gain 5% more experience from kills at night. That's always very handy. And um, we don't have that yet either. We don't have that. What is that? Um, butter up. Hit and run. Use this dirty trick to win in desperate situations. Power attacks to the legs slows enemies. Well, that's very handy. Um, do we have anything else that could be quite handy here? We have a lot of ammunition here. Let me see. Well, it's not a lot, but some. A magazine extender mod. That's always very handy. Do we need that right now? I don't think so. I think we're going to be okay. 
I don't think there's any. There is Grandpa's forgetting Elixir, but that's like 40,000. We have 20,000. So I think what we definitely should buy is um, all the mix, the concrete mix. We definitely should buy that. What else is there, actually? We have Hobos too. We have Feathers. We have Backshot. We have an Iron Spear. Yeah, there is not really a lot that I can see right now that would be of interest to anything. There's a forge for 2,000, but we can make them ourselves. There's more cement I could get. Well, it's only 100, and we already have some more cement, so that's actually really good. And what else do we have here? We have some books here, a ranger. We already know all these. That's actually what we sold to him, I think, pretty much. Okay, so let's get the concrete mix. And then what is that? Improved fitting mods. What is this mod? Stamina? Oh, look at that, and mobility. Actually, I'm going to take that. That's really, really good. I like that. Let's buy that. And anything else that might help us in crafting anything? No, I think we're going to be okay. Okay, with that out of the way, let's see what we're going to get. Um, oh, there's actually the Butter Up magazine is actually right here, which is really, really good. We should take that. We can make ammunition ourselves, so I'm not really too fussed about the ammunition. So let's complete that. And do you have any other jobs? So let me see. Tier 3 fetch quest. Wow. Okay, that would probably be interesting to see what we get. A clear zombie, a tier 3 clear zombie quest. Well, a fetch quest, and then that would be good. Fetch and clear. Ooh, that would be nice. That's some nice experience. It's to the northwest. Yeah, let's do that. That's our first tier 3 quest. I'm not gonna do... I left the door open. <laughs> he gave me a heart attack. I was like, dude, why are you so close? Okay, so there we go. At least we have that sorted out. Now, what I want to do next time, I want to go home now, but what I want to do is I want to come back here. What? Clear area and restart? What? Oh, that's 1.3 kilometers. I was just about to say this has to be... Oh, it's actually in the village near our base. That is awesome. Absolutely fantastical. That is really, really good. So we're going home now anyway. And um, yeah, let's go home. And next time we're going to do that quest but also after we hand it in we're gonna go here there is a bunker as far as i know in the fountain unless they've changed that in the well unless they've changed it now we're gonna bring a gun and we're gonna bring some ammunition because i have a feeling it's gonna get heavy and for the fetch clear quest i think i'm gonna also bring either a shotgun or the ak-47 with a couple of ammunition because um i'm assuming that a tier 3 will get heavy I completely forgot that we have another trader here, so I think we should check out if he has anything we're interested in since we last were here, and also if he Something has actually a quest. Right? So let's just quickly check his inventory. Oh, he has eggs. I'm going to actually buy all these eggs because I want to get them for um, bacon and eggs, and we're going to buy all the powder that we can. That's 800. That's really good. And do we have any casing? Oh, he has casing. So he must have restocked, actually, I think. Oh, look at that urban combat. Kicking one loose can... What? Kicking one loose can wake up the hornet's nest. Sneaking over trash makes no sound. That is really cool. We might actually get that. I mean, we have 1,400 or 14,000 still, so we might actually get that. Automatic weapons. Shoot to kill and, and let God sort them out. It's you or them in combat. It might as well be them. Automatic weapons do 10% more damage. I think we're going to buy these. Guys, I don't think there's any arguing about it. Oh, look at that. For a million, is it? Oh, no, for 100,000, we can get a gyrocopter. Yeah, I think we're going to buy these. That's definitely a good choice. And Hobos too. We already know how to make that. Is there anything else? Let me see here. Advanced Bellow. Um, is that for the forge? Forge smell? Yeah, we're going to buy that because I have so many forges now. To actually have this would be really, really great. So let's see what's in these guys here. So we have the raw meat. We have bullet tips. Actually, get them as well. And do we have anything else of interest? Oh, concrete mix. This is really good. Oh, I like this. Forged steel. Oh, here we go. We could get 47 forged steel. But you know what? What we should actually do is we should look for... I forgot the crucible. Okay, they don't have a crucible actually here. And, oh, by the way, we can sell these. To him then. Awesome. Because the other guy didn't want them. That is really, really cool. So we are making a little bit of money back as well, which is great. So what else do we have here? A crucible here maybe? No? Okay. So crucible is something we probably should always check for just in case. Because that way... Oh, nerdy glasses. Oh, that will give us intellect plus one. 
I think I need them because it would say, yeah, let's do that. Okay, I'm gonna, that's the last thing I'm gonna now. spend. And the reason I'm gonna get this is we're going to put the nerdy glasses on instead of the loot bonus, but that means now we are level seven, so we can get level eight. And when we have level eight, we can get the next level of advanced engineering, which should unlock the crucible so for one more point we level up very soon we can now unlock the crucible i don't know if the crucible is in the last one or in this one what is this There's electrical trap kills and power tools concentration defense uh, forge steel so this should be the crucible that would be amazing if we could get into steel that would be absolutely fantastical so thank you very much for those glasses baby and oh yeah we definitely don't want to make any more noise going over trash so we're going to read all of these we're doing the butter up and we're going to do the sneaky sneak. That is amazing. Excellent. Yeah, while we're gone, all this stone was burning, so we can make like 1,300 cement in every single one of those forges. That is amazing. That is actually fantastical. Also, I didn't get sand yet, so what I'm going to do is I'm we have loads and loads of stone, and between those two, we can um, make sand. There we go, that's 7,500. And it's crafting really, really fast, which is awesome. And then we have 15,000 sand. And we can get more stone in the meantime, so we should be absolutely fine. There you go, it's confirmed. They're still running up the stairs, even though we have the hatch here. They just don't care about the hatch, which is great. That is awesome. There we go, look at that. That is beautiful. So they're still gonna try to keep going here, which is really, really good. Nice. Okay, so let's get a little bit of firepower so we can take care of those guys. Sorted. I think what we're going to do now tonight, though, still, is probably see if we can get to the mini bike. Now, we have loads of bottles of acid, so I think we should do that. And we have coal, we have this, so just need some forged iron, actually. We have plenty of that as well. So I think we can make in total five, excellent. And that means plus the one we have here, that's six. So we have two plus four for later on for the Jeep if we need to, because I think the four by four, we actually have the ability to make it. I just don't, the four by four is very big. So I'm not really sure how well it travels through everywhere without damaging, but we could see if we could make it instead, but either way, we have enough tires to actually do both. But I think I want to do the mini bike first. So mini bike, we can do the chassis, we can do the handle. We actually have all the all the things to do it with, which is really really good. And um, with the tires now, we should be able to do it very quickly. All right, I think we have everything we need. So if we type in bike, there we go. We can make the chassis. And we can make the handlebars. Excellent stuff. And we don't have to worry about the crappy quality of the battery because the battery is no longer just placed in and makes it faster. We can use any quality battery. The only reason quality for battery matters, I think, is if you do a battery, you know, one of those battery charges where you put the battery in, the higher your quality, the I think the more you can store or something like that, or the more watts you get out of it, something like that. So we're just gonna wait for these to finish crafting and then we can hopefully build ourselves a mini bike. That would be awesome. Now, I'm not sure actually how much gas goes into one, but I'm crafting my rest of my oil shale actually into gas as well. There we go. And hopefully a couple of thousand will be enough. So we're nearly finished there. We have the chassis now. There we go. And all we need now is the handlebars and then we can make ourselves the actual mini bike, which would be amazing to get this done in this episode. So there we go. Beautiful and excellent. It's in the making. And here we go. Here's our mini bike. Excellent. Oh, beautiful. And it's our, oh yes, excellent. You know what, before we go down with the, with this, let's collect all the cement that we actually have in here. That's already 2,000, that's six. That is six, there we go, that's six. Oh, we must have crafted more already before then. Oh, wow, okay, so that's six. Oh, no, we actually placed, I think, no, there we go. That's all we need, and we just need the stone now. There we go. And now we should be able to craft, I think, half of it. There you go, excellent stuff. So if we're going to take half of that out, 
Beautiful. And then we can craft the other half here. Excellent. Look at that. That's beautiful. And how much sand do we have still left? Still 8,000 sand left. Now we don't feel the pressure and we still have a lot of stone left as well. Now we don't feel the pressure of getting more sand that quickly. So let's go out with the mini bike. Let's see what we have. And how much storage do we have? Oh, nice. Oh, this is amazing. So now to fill it up. Oh, a thousand. Okay. Brilliant. Oh, this is so much better now, actually, and so much faster. I don't know how long the gas lasts, but it's brilliant. Oh, we're already at 99%. Oh, it's quite a guzzler, aren't you? Oh, it's already at 98%. Holy shit. I'm just literally driving around a little bit of a circle here, and it's already at 98%. Wow. That is terrible. Okay. <laughs> So we definitely want like, I don't know, 10,000 gallons like on us or something every time we travel. Holy crap, we might actually want to take the bicycle with us in the actual motorbike just in case we run out of gas so we have some kind of transportation vehicle with us. Yeah, that would probably be the right thing to do. But nonetheless, we got the mini bike, which is absolutely awesome. I love it. All right, that was pretty impressive. I like it. So we actually have our concrete mix sorted out. We have 6,000, over 6,000 concrete. Um, mix done we still have some cement blocks we can use but we should be able to reinforce all this pretty quickly now we have our little stone mine down there a little bit expanded and we have our mini bike now which is amazing so we actually can take all of this out so yeah 4620 and we can now in the morning take this bike and now get quicker to where we need to go after we upgraded all the space i can't wait anyway i'm gonna leave it here thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did remember to kick that like button in the balls now i'll see you guys in the next video and if you're new to the channel we're and you like what you see hit that subscribe button and see you guys next time until then as always feel spaß and happy gaming